Happy Monday, guys. Um, not done a dev devotion in a while, um, but with the uh, weekend being what it was, the kind of crazy protests going on and the sadness uh, surrounding the, the, the Floyd death, um, I was really uh, convicted and kind of asked myself a lot of questions about what, what it means to me, what it means in my heart, what it means in my, uh, my mind about what what's going on is it okay to feel this angry and upset about stuff like this um and then i and then i kind of had this extra thought of peace right that's kind of what we strive for that's what we're looking for that's what that we want the world to have world peace you know all that stuff and um so i was kind of thinking about this quite a lot and um the conclusion i kind of came up to was uh was obviously found in the Bible, <laughs> and it's John sixteen thirty three. Uh, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. So, the thing that I really appreciate about this Bible verse, um, this little section of scripture here, is it's not saying ignore the world right it's not like saying forget about what's going on outside it's it's saying look you're gonna have troubles there are gonna be times of trouble right find peace in in jesus because in the world there's gonna be tribulation so and that's kind of what i'm thinking right now i can't find peace in the world i can't find peace in my bank account can't find peace on the streets of Spokane when there's riots and protests going on. I can't find peace when everyone's screaming and shouting about about something or other. In some respects, it's okay <laughs> to shout and scream, but in others, it's it's quite crazy. Um, I can't find peace knowing that a man's life was taken, um, just because death to me doesn't bring peace. Death always brings sadness, um, and. I mean, obviously, we have the, the understanding if you're a Christian, you, you're with Jesus. So that sadness turns to joy. But in a lot of these situations, these people don't know Jesus. And that makes me sad. So so I, I, I dove into my Bible and I was looking around and I was scrambling around and I was reading. And I came across John sixteen thirty three, And again, find peace in Jesus, not in the world, because the world isn't peaceful. Right? We know that the world is sinful, lustful, greedy, selfish, me, 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 not not looking outwards, looking inwards. And that and that comes along with all these the looting and the protests and stuff. The the peaceful protests were done with good heart and good mind, and that's a good thing. Yeah, you should be allowed to do that. You should be allowed to vocalize when something wrong is happening. But then suddenly that that switch happens inside to what can i gain out of this and that's when the looting happens and the and the rioting that's not because of someone being killed you know that's that's a personal gain situation you're not someone's not stealing trainers in the in the memory of floyd uh someone is stealing trainers because they they want new shoes you know? so it's sad it's a real conflicting time and maybe you guys have a different view on this, or maybe you have something extra you want to add to this, and I'd love to hear it. Um, but John 16, 33, these things I have spoken unto you, that in me you will find peace. That only in Jesus we will find peace. That we shouldn't be looking to the world for peace. We shouldn't be looking for the world for good things, because the world is sinful. But we know that we have Jesus that we can find peace, that we can find love and truth and justice and mercy through Jesus Christ. And know that Jesus is sad about this as well. That he's sad about how people are being treated every day. And that's why he went to the cross, to change this, to take away that sin. So my prayer is that we would all look to Jesus for this peace for this calm, for this love, for the truth, for the mercy, for the justice, that we can look to Jesus for that. Because no human's ever going to match up. This world cannot produce peace because the, the, the world chose sin. 
And it's really sad. But be of good cheer because Jesus has overcome the world. Wow. Don't dwell on the tribulations. Look at them. Know about them. Understand what's going on. Stand up. Be a good Christian, right? Find peace in Jesus, but no. And you know that you can be of good cheer because Jesus has overcome this world. Man, I'm so thankful for that. So guys, I don't know how you're feeling this weekend, whether you've been a little bit scared because of the riots and the protests, or whether you're angry because of because of the death, or maybe you're siding somewhere else. But what I what I what I urge you to do is to trust in Jesus. Find peace in him. Because he didn't just bring peace. He overcame the whole world. We can be of good cheer, of good spirit, of good heart, because Jesus wins our god wins and our god doesn't want bad things to happen he weeps at loss he he wants people to come to him so guys pray pray for these people who are in the riots pray for these people who are letting these these emotions take over and and letting their their material uh, desires take over Pray that they, they find Jesus. Pray, pray that they find that peace that passes understanding. And read John 16, 33. Jesus has overcome the world. The world of sin, the world of darkness, the world of hatred, and has brought peace. But only in him can we have that peace. There you go. Guys, I'm praying for you. I pray for you every day. If you have anything specific you want prayer about, please, please, please get in contact with me. Um, hopefully we'll see you guys soon at church. Um, God bless. Keep safe. Find peace in Jesus.